guys, welcome back. It's your girl Katie here and today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me, trying out new products. I've been doing a lot more of these recently and that's because I've had a lot more makeup and like new products to try out so I always just think why not, you know, film me trying out these products. But before we get on into this video, you guys know the drill, please make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. But to no further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so I think I am going to kind of clip back my hair so I can get it, keep it out of my face. Always looks a little goofy when I do this, but oh well. The first product that I have to try out today is, I think this is a recent like launch product. Um, it's a Wet n Wild product and this is the Tinted Hydrator. Uh, it just, a tinted hydrator. So I, I think it's supposed to be a foundation because it says sheer to medium, so I'm guessing I can build this up. Um, but there it is. I saw this in Walmart and I was really curious. I think this was like $5. So not a bad price. You know, wet and wild. Wet, what, not wanting to focus on it. There you go. No, not my face. There you go. Wet and wild is usually pretty affordable, so $5 for this is not too bad. So, like I said, I saw this in store and I was like, tinted hydrator, hmm. Because I like, I have dry skin, so I, I like things that are, I like hydrating foundations. So, I thought, why not try this out today? Um, yeah. So, this is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. And that's just what it's called. Oh, FYI, if you hear snoring in the background. But like I say this in almost all my videos, my dog is always in here in the room with me while I film, and he is a snore. I didn't know chihuahuas could snore so loud, but they can. They sure can. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. So yeah, I'm just going to try this out. Um, I can't remember what shade I got this in. Okay, I got fair to pale. Because your, girl, your girl's pale, so I got fair pale. Hopefully, hopefully this is a match, but... My skin is not happy with me right now. I have several little pimples pop up, so just ignore those. I may have to, this says sheer to, me to medium, so I may have to go in with a concealer, we'll see. I don't have like complete, uh, I don't have a complete full face of new products, so there's just about three different products here. One of them is a face palette, so that's like three products in one. Um, but I don't have a new concealer or new brow products, so just FYI. But yeah, how's everyone doing? How's everyone week? It's a Monday as I'm, when I'm filming this, but I don't think you'll see this till Thursday. So almost, when you guys see this, it'll almost be the weekend. Hooray for weekends. Who doesn't love weekends? It has a slight fragrance. It's very light. I can't even. I can barely smell it. It might just be the smell of the foundation. Not really a fragrance. Anyways, yeah. This does to be a medium coverage. Very. I could see this being definitely. You could sheer this out for sure. But anyways, back to what I was saying. How's everyone doing? Hoped everyone had a good week. Actually, I don't know. I felt like doing filming this today because. Honestly, guys, I think the last videos, my previous videos were all declutter, excuse me, all my previous videos were declutter videos, so I didn't have to wear makeup. I mean, I don't really leave the house that much right now anyway, so I don't normally just wear makeup. The only time I really wear makeup is just, like if people are coming over or occasionally if I go to town and I feel like putting makeup on, I will, but for the most part, I don't because I'm just going to Walmart or something. So I haven't actually, so the point of me telling you this is I haven't worn makeup in a while because my previous videos were all declutter videos and I didn't really have to show my face or anything, although unfortunately when I was watching my footage, sometimes when I was showing products the mirror would like shine on me and I'm like, girl, <laughs> maybe I should have worn some makeup because I look terrible. And it's always like the bad shot so it's like shows my, my yeah, I have a double chin, okay? You know, some people get chiseled jaws from the mother. I got a double chin because that runs in my family apparently. So I was blessed with this double chin here, although, you know, it's just the perks of having a round face. 
Anyways, so I, I saw that a couple times in the shop, and I was like, oh, I was cringing at myself. Although I'm sure I'm my own worst critic, so maybe it wasn't that bad, but I felt like it was bad. So yeah, this is definitely sheer. It definitely feels nice on the skin. I mean, it feels pretty hydrating. I would say it doesn't feel too cakey. I mean, that was one layer on, and I'm definitely gonna have to go in with a concealer because I have pimples right now. Um, but on my good days, I could just see this, you know, working out very well. Um, and if you're someone who doesn't typically get pimples, lucky. But if you're someone who doesn't typically get pimples, then I think this would, you know, work out very well. But yeah, definitely gonna have to go in with more. Let me see if this builds up on itself pretty well. Um, if you want to test the coverage. Definitely looks like I'm only going to be able to build this up to a medium coverage. It's not really, it's definitely not going to be full coverage. It's just going to be, like it said, medium to sheer. But I do like that it doesn't seem to be clinging to any, it doesn't seem to be clinging horribly to any of my dry patches, which is good because I do get I have dry patches and foundation does typically cling to that. I mean, I think it's clinging a tad, but it's not real bad, so. So that's good. So from what I can tell, this seems to be a pretty decent foundation. Like I said, if I didn't have a bunch of breakouts, I think this would be just fine. But because I have a breakout right now, it, it's not really covering up my um, blemishes that well. I mean, it did cover it up a little bit. They're not as bright red as they were. But, you know, it did say that it was a sheer to medium coverage, so I didn't really expect it to. But I do think it feels pretty nice on the skin. Um, definitely one that I wish for if I was having a very good skin day and I just wanted something light. It doesn't feel like I have really anything on my face. It's not tacky. You know, it. I, I think it's pretty good. And considering it was like only $5, I think that's a pretty good price. And I, so far I do like it. I don't know how it wears or anything. This is my first time trying it out, so I don't know if it's going to last all day or anything. And I don't think it really says how long it'll last. So, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to last. It doesn't say, so. But, so far, I like it. Alright, so I don't have a new concealer or anything to try out. Um, I don't have a new setting powder or a brow product, so I'm just going to kind of breeze through this, maybe talk a little bit as I'm doing this. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of start breezing through this part, I'm trying to get to, so I can get to the other products. Maybe I'll chat a little bit, but yeah. So I'm just going in with Dose of Colors uh, concealer here. Yeah, so how's everyone doing? What have you guys been up to? I feel like there's not really much you can do right now, at least still with everything being locked down, which is a bummer. Actually, where I live, there's not really that much lockdown. I mean, stores and everything are still open. And if places are open, they do, of course, have, like, requirements. But I, it's kind of weird. This whole COVID thing has really kind of, like, reminded me what I can live without. Because I used to go to the movie, like, before everything, I used to go to the movie theaters pretty often. Or at least, you know, when things came out that I wanted to see, we would go. And after this, you know, everything happened, movie theaters, of course, shut down. <laughs> and honestly, I've not really missed that. I've not missed going to the theaters. I mean, yeah, I kind of miss, I don't, I don't even know if I really miss new movies coming out. I mean, there's so much on Netflix and everything now that I feel like, you know, they're always coming out with new things on Netflix, new movies on Netflix or Hulu and all that. But I haven't really missed it that much, which is probably a good thing because going to the movie theaters can get really expensive. I mean, tickets are not cheap. And honestly, I... And movie theaters did open up back up here. Of course, they have to do the whole distancing thing and you have to wear masks and everything. And I don't even think they serve. And they don't even serve food in there, which I think is 
kind of a bummer. Like, they don't serve the popcorn. I think you can get your popcorn to go, but I don't think you can eat it in the theater. And, the, and I was just like, I'm just going to wait till movie theaters can go back to normal. You know, I didn't really want to deal with all that, you know, not being able to eat popcorn and everything, because that used to be our thing. We'd go get popcorn. UPS was delivering a package, and I had to go. Well, I didn't actually go out there, but I was watching him to make sure he didn't need me, because I have two dogs, and one dog is part Great Dane Mastiff. So she's a pretty big dog, and people always are like, she's like a real sweetheart and everything, but she barks really loud, so usually the deliver pe delivery people are really hesitant with her, so I had to make sure that they weren't needing someone to go out there, but it looks like he was okay with the dog, because she just barked at him, and he was like, eh. So, anyways, what was I saying? Oh gosh, I don't even remember what I was talking about now. That's bad. I don't remember what I was talking about, so I guess new topic now. It's so bad that I can't remember what I was talking about just literally a couple minutes ago. Oh, I was talking about movie theaters. I remembered. Yay. Anyways, so, you know, we used to do the whole getting popcorn thing because we'd get the, I mean, I don't know if all theaters do this, but our theater did this where they'd have like a yearly bucket and like you would just pay the one-time fee for like the bucket um, and then all year long you would get like a fill up for like five dollars so it did save you money because you know getting popcorn can be pretty expensive the buckets were kind of pricey I mean it wasn't just for the bucket it's like a one-time like I don't know fee but anyways it worked out because with how much we were going to the movie theaters especially when we lived in town you know, it was real close by. It was worth it getting the bucket for us. Plus, it's a really big bucket. So, I mean, one big bucket would feed, like, however many people, like, because my sister would go to the theater with us. So, you know, she'd want popcorn and my mom or other sister came. You know, it was worth it. Anyway, so anyway, so the fact that you can't even get popcorn and stuff right now, it's just kind of like, eh. I'll just wait for it to come out on DVD, and or if it, Amazon or something has it, then I'll just get rent it then. The only part I would miss about going to the movie theaters is probably just social, the social part of it, because you know, if my mom or something or sisters all went with us, and it'd be like a thing. But lately, we've just been doing hangout days now, so. If there's a movie or something we want to watch that's on Netflix, we'll just get grab some lunch or something and go to someone's house and watch it there. So, not a biggie there. Really haven't missed it that much. Alright, so the powder I use on my face is pretty vulgar. That's, that's just in my shop, my stash right now. Like I said, I don't have a new, I don't have a new powder and now I'm just going to go in with the Bobby, what is it, not Bobby, Billion Dollar Brows. Universal pencil. This again is in my shop my stash as well. Just trying to use up this product. So I'm just gonna go in with this Anyway, so it just kind of taught me about Kind of just show me that some things that I don't really need in my life or I don't need to do And this is definitely this whole COVID thing has definitely made me more even more of a homebody like I was a homebody before but now I'm extra homebody like I go to town like maybe once a week now. Well, I mean, now that we moved, we're not really, we're not far from town, but you know, it is more of a drive, so I don't really feel inclined to go out because I'm not that super close. And plus, you know, living out in the country, I have more things to do out here. But, you know, even just traveling, I'm not really feeling the itch to travel right now. Although I don't think you're really supposed to, but definitely don't feel like traveling now. I don't know, it's just been kind of nice. Although I've definitely been getting the itch to do more arts and crafts things. I bought some yarn the other day and I'm gonna try out a pattern that I saw online. Um, pretty excited about that. I just need to actually, I have a problem with, I wanna do a bunch of things but then just getting started is when I have issues. All right, so that's done. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a pretty vulgar product. And this is one I picked up from one of the BoxyCharm pop-ups um, deals. Um, they had this in a past box, but I didn't get one in a box, and I was pretty disappointed. So when I saw it on their pop-up deal, I was like, oh yeah, I want to try this. 
Sorry if my, vo my voice sounds a little raspy. I've just been so dry. I've been trying to drink more water, but I think I'm a little dehydrated anyways. So this is the nesting bitch. Well, okay, sorry, I said bitch, but it's a nesting biatch face. Well, they have it all censored out, but. Biatch face, palette. So it has a mirror and then the inside. It's got two highlighters, two blushes, and two bronzers. So I thought, why not go ahead and try this out? Like I said, I haven't tried this one yet. And it's kind of funny, it has like the definition of nesting biatch face, which is, I think it's supposed to be like resting biatch face. It says when you've had resting biatch face since birth. And then it has a challenge. Post a side-by-side -side com comparisons pic of your young versus current resting biatch face using hashtag nesting bee face. That's kind of funny. I don't know if I have resting... I just pulled off this little thingy. I don't know if I have resting biatch face. You guys won't let me know it in the comments if I do. Anyway, so got two bronzers right here. I hope they're not shimmery bronzers. I mean, every now and then a shimmery bronzer is okay. No, I don't think it is. I don't even know if that's... Yeah, that one's gonna be way too dark. Anyway, so I'm gonna go in. It doesn't look shimmery. It's not shimmery. So I'm gonna go in with this one over here. This is the son of a bee. I don't know, should I zoom you guys in? I don't really think I want to today. Just because I feel like this is more of a chatty get ready with me and not really a tutorial. Anyways, I'm going in with this with a bronzing brush. Seems to be a nice shade. Anyway, so since we've been staying home, we've been working when my husband has time with, um, when he's not super busy with work, we've of course been working on the remodel of the room, which the bathroom is basically done. It just needs some shelves in it that we're gonna add, and then it needs the countertop for the vanity. Um, and the sink and everything that's not attached yet. But we have the toilet in there now. The shower is completely finished now, which is really exciting. We haven't used it yet because, you know, the rest of the room's not finished. So there's no point using it until we actually live in there. I mean, I could use it, but, you know, it's, it's cold. And I don't want to have to run all the way back upstairs to go to my room. But it's, it's basically done. Aside from those things that need to be finished, the flooring's in. The flooring looks really nice. Um, I've already started, I've been trying to hold off from buying things for the bathroom because I want to get like a new rug, like just a rug to put in front of the vanity um, and maybe one in front of the shower. Um, but I did find this really nice picture from Ross that I really like, it's really cute that I bought, but I'm trying not to buy too much because, you know, it's not, it's not finished yet, so where am I going to put this stuff? Um, so that's exciting. But been doing a lot of did a lot of painting because everything needed to be painted did that so now we're gonna be working on the closet part because the room is basically we don't have the flooring in the room yet but the walls are all painted the lights are hooked up um, we still need to put like a little I don't know what it's called you know like when you have a window the bottom part like where you'd put like trim or something. I don't know what that's called, but you know, like in a window, you always have like a little flat part where you could sit things in there. Um, but we don't have that in yet. The pieces for that are being cut. This is actually really pigmented and very pretty. I thought at first the shade was gonna be too light for me, but it's building up pretty nicely. Anyway, so we're getting close, but now my husband's demolishing the other side of the room so we can start building the closet. Ooh, that might be too much on that side. I always feel like I go overboard with the bronzer, but I don't know. All right, so that's on. Now I'm gonna put the blush on. I have to kind of speed this up because my battery only has so much battery. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with the pink blush. I'm more of a pinky blush person. The other one does look really pretty. I could blend or mix them, but we'll just see. Oh, this is called Mirror Mirror, the pink one is. 
Yeah, so we've been busy with that. I think this week, since I don't really have money, because last week, you know, or the past couple of weeks, I was doing all the painting, because my husband hates painting, and that's something that I can do when he's not here, because most of the time, I'm, I don't know what to do, so. Uh, most of the time, I'm just kind of handing him stuff, or just watching them, because I don't know much about demolishing things, or putting in walls and all that stuff, so. The painting is something that I could do. Well, he wasn't here when he was at work, so I jumped on that and did all the painting. So I think this week I'm gonna focus on doing arts and crafts. I was gonna film some of it, but I don't know. If I do crochet stuff, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, if I film stuff, it wouldn't be tutorials because I'm not really, I don't know. I don't know, let me know. Would you guys just be interested in just watching me crochet? I just feel like that'd be kind of boring. I mean, I'd tell you what I was doing and where I got the pattern from, but I don't know. Because there's already so many tutorials and the pattern I'm doing, there's a tutorial, so I just feel like that's kind of pointless. Unless you just want to watch me craft without like being it being a tutorial if it's like therapeutic. I don't know. Just let me know down in the comments what you guys think of that. That's very pretty. I do really like that blush. All right, now for the highlighter. Um, this one's definitely too deep for me, so I'm gonna have to go in with this one. This is Glimmer of BS. Glimmers of, Glimmers of BS. So I'm going in with this one. There is quite a bit of kick up, I'd say, in the palette, but it's not too, not too shabby. And we started the Mandalorian series because I mean we're late to the game um, my husband said if we're gonna watch it we're gonna wait for all the episodes to come out so that way we didn't have to wait week to week to see what happens next which is fine I mean I don't really care but dang baby Yoda man I know that's not his name I know he has a name now but he's still baby Yoda to me I don't care for the child I haven't watched it all so no spoilers um, I think we're about halfway through the series. In my opinion, I'm not like a huge Star Wars fan. I've never been one. Um, I don't mind them. It's just I'm not a die-hard fan. I don't know all the names and everything. You know, I don't know the movies by heart. If you ask me what, I can tell you the characters. I can't, if there's a certain scene, I wouldn't be able to tell you exactly what, what, which movie that was from. Um, but I don't mind the series. It's just not a diehard fan, like I said. Alright, so I like the highlighter. It's pretty blinding. So far, I really like this palette. Definitely will probably pick this at some point during my shop, my stash, because I did really like I, I just like it. I like the bronzer. I like the blush. I like the highlighter. Um, Definitely, I'm glad it has some deeper shades here for anybody with darker skin tones. So it's not just, you know, all light uh, shades. So I do like seeing that in a palette. All right. So for the palette, the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use, I'm going to try this Too Faced one. I bought this a really long time ago, just haven't ever gotten around to using it. This is the pineapple, like the sparkling pineapple, I think is what it's called. Yeah, I don't know if this has been discontinued. You guys know how, I've even asked you guys if you care if I show products that have been discontinued. I think you can still maybe get this, but I don't think they're making it anymore, so once it's gone, I think it's gone. Um, definitely smells really nice. It smells like pineapple, and I like the smell of pineapple. So anyways, gonna try this out today. Um, not a lot of shades, so I'm probably just gonna go in with typical mattes first, and then I'll pick my shimmers. The shade names are on the bottom of the palette, which I don't like it when palettes do that, so I'm not going to tell you what the names are. But first shade I'm going to go into is this one right here, this dark brown. I'm just going to buff that out on the crease and see what happens. So far, everything I've tried today I like, so hopefully this palette's good to you. And I don't really like to talk about, I don't really like to talk about 
politics like on my channel or nothing because I don't really care about it, but I have to say I'm not really impressed with anything that's going on right now. It just feels like a bunch of bull crap. Um, not impressed with it. I feel like it's all unnecessary. And I don't know, it seems like I don't know, I'm not saying everyone's like this, but it just just seems like people just can't get along. Like it's it's really not that hard to get along with other people. But it seems like everyone acts like it is super hard to be nice. Um, and I don't understand that. I don't understand it and I don't want to understand it because I don't want to be like that. If I understand it, then I can more likely become like that. But anyways, that's just my little piece. I'm not impressed with anything. I'm kind of just ready for it all to be over. Um, but it is really sad to see stuff. And everyone, it just seems like, I don't know, it just seems like there's so much hate in the world right now and I don't know why. Like, why are people so hateful? I mean, I really honestly feel that if someone has a different opinion than you, that's fine. That's their, they're allowed, people are allowed to have different opinions and that's totally fine. If someone has a different opinion than me, that doesn't mean that I should hate that person or be rude to that person just because they don't feel the same way or think the same way that I do. You know, everyone's different. And I don't know why that is such a bad thing nowadays. It's for other people to have a different opinion than you. Than you. Like, it's not... I can be... You can just agree to disagree. And, but you can do it in a nice way. You don't have to, just because one person feels that way about some other person, that doesn't mean that person is a horrible person for not feeling the same way or thinking the same way you do. It just means we're different. I mean, the world would be very boring if everyone was exactly the same. Anyways, that's my little piece about that, I guess. I don't really like to talk about that stuff, but sometimes, I don't know, it feels like it does need to be talked about. All right, so now I'm gonna go into this deeper dark brown shade right here. And I'm just going to deepen up the corners a little bit. I don't know, am I the only one that feels like that right now? I just feel like... Oh, people are just really rude to each other right now. And that's not bringing us together, for sure. It's like driving a big wedge between us. I don't understand how politics became such a, like, whether you be a Democrat or Republican, you know, that's just different, you know, opinions, basically, you know, you want, Democrats want one thing, Republicans want another thing, yada yee. But I didn't, like, I don't know how to explain it. You know, it, doesn't mean those people, like, if you're a Democrat or Republican, it doesn't mean the two of you can't get along. Like, you should be able to get along. It just means that you have diff different political stances or opinions, and that's fine. But it just seems like they're always at war with each other, and I don't really understand that. It just, like, why? It just seems really unnecessary, you know? And it just, it's horrible to see, like, the hate between them, like, Democrats hate Republicans and Republicans hate Democrats like no we can still be friends it just means when it comes to political things that we just think differently and that's fine but it just seems like they're always at each other's throats and it just it's, it's horrible to watch I don't know maybe I'm naive or don't understand it and I, I don't understand it I don't understand it at all anyways Let's talk about something else. This month's boxy charm looks pretty, pretty good. Hopefully, get some of the good stuff. The palettes look really pretty this month. The, the least in the base box. I saw the options. You're supposed to either get a Violet Voss or a Ciate London one, which those are both nice brands. So I'm excited. to see which one I get. My box is on its way. I think it should be here maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. So I'm excited about that. This is looking actually pretty nice. 
And of course, I got it. I got to try out the gold shimmer. Look at look how beautiful that is. How beautiful the gold shade is. That just looks chef's kiss. So I'm going to try it out. It feels really nice. It's a little bit chunky maybe, but Woohoo! Look at that. I'll zoom you guys in for this part. I probably should have zoomed you guys in a while back, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, it's too much in my face. And like I said, this isn't really a tutorial. It's more of a chatty get ready with me. Glittering, the glitter is a bit, I guess the word would be chunky. Like it's, it's kind of flying everywhere. It's not like the really milled glitter. I don't know. It's not, it's not chunky, but it's just not in the, in the shadow very well. So it's kind of like, I don't know. Do you guys know what I mean? It's kind of coming off a little bit. Not really coming off the eye. I just see little specks going everywhere and I have a little bit of fallout. There's a lot of glitter now on my, under my eye. So it's not the, the best formula, but it is very pigmented though. I love me a gold, gold shimmer. So that's basically what I'm going to do for the top. I'm going to just going to go ahead and finish out my bottom lash line. I'm going to go ahead and put mascara and everything on, but I'm going to go ahead and do that all off camera because this is basically, you know, that's basically it. Let me go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on the products that I tried today. Alright, so I finished up my face, put eyeliner and mascara and lipstick on. Um, if anybody's curious what's, as to what lipstick I'm wearing, I'm wearing the Ilia Amber Light Lipstick. And I don't know if the shade is Color Block or if it's Amber Light. I think it's Amber Light, but it's a really pretty like pink shade. I really like it. Uh, I think I got this in one of my boxy charm boxes. I feel like that's pretty much typically where I get my makeup from. It's from BoxyCharm. Anyways, all right, so my kind of review, I do really like the foundation. Um, the only thing I wish it had more coverage, but like I said, I, I did pick it up. It's a tinted hydrator, you know, it's a tinted moisturizer, so I didn't really expect it to have full coverage, but I do really like the formula. I feel like it looks pretty nice on the skin, um, not too drying. So this is, and like I said, for $5, Pretty good size too, but this is gonna last me a while. I like it. I think it's good. Pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with the pretty vulgar face palette. Um, I'm really glad I picked this up because this is really nice. I really like how it looks. I like the highlighter. I like the bronzer and the blush is really nice. Um, it's a little bit powdery, I would say. Like the formula feels really like when I was dipping it in. You know, there's a lot of kick up. It wasn't super powdery, but had a lot of kick up. You know. So I was kind of concerned about the quality, but the quality seems pretty well, pretty good to me. Very pigmented, blended out really well, not having a problem with it at all. So pretty happy that I went ahead and picked this up. So if you see this, if you're subscribed to BoxyCharm and you see this in one of the pop-up pop deals or whatever they add-ons, I think it's worth getting, especially because I feel like I got this for like $6 or something, maybe 10 I don't think I paid any more for $10 for this, but I feel like that's a pretty good purchase. Um, the palette I really like. I mean, it's very simple palette, not much to it, but the quality is there. Definitely pigmented. I'm really wanting to try out this shade over here next. It looks green, but it kind of has like this, like this shift to it, kind of like a purpley shift. I don't know if the camera is really picking it up. Probably not. Camera doesn't really pick it up as well, but it does have a shift to it. So I'm curious to see how this looks on the eyes. And then this one over here looks really pretty too. So definitely like it. Glad I picked it up. Um, yeah, I think that's the, all the products. It was just the three this time. So yeah, thank you for joining me today with my chit chat. Get ready with me. Sorry, the end. It probably kind of got a little more depressing side because I did talk about some things that are going on in the world. I mentioned it a little bit. I didn't really talk about that much, but overall, I think everyone needs to stop being so hateful. If you are someone that has a lot of hate in you, I would suggest going to therapy or just finding a way to deal with that hate and stop spreading it around because hate or just hate or angriness. I don't even, maybe it's both of them. There might be a lot of anger in the world because 2020 was a really rough year for a lot of people. Um, but yeah, definitely just suggest if it was a rough year, find some way to decompress, um, find some way to get rid of that anger because just it's, anger is like a disease. It spreads. And it, it's not good for you. Um, if you feel like, oh, you're just saying this so that the, 
everyone else is better. Well, no, it's for yourself because anger, like I said, is a disease and it's not good for you. So having a lot of that anger in you will, it can do a lot of harm to your body. So anyways, that's my little tidbit for today. But yeah, and let me know down in the comments what you guys thought of the products that I tried out today. If you've tried any of these products out and what you think of them. And also make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing these types of videos. But other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!